Good evening. Theresa May says Donald Trump was wrong to share tweets from a British far-right organisation. Despite them and his subsequent tweet about her effectively telling her to mind her own business, she insists the special relationship continues. But Britain's ambassador to the US has visited the White House to raise concerns. The president's spokesperson has brushed off any criticism, saying he's only expressing his concern about Islamist extremism. More from our correspondent Alex Forsyth, who's been with the Prime Minister on her visit to Jordan. This was a trip focused on building relationships around the world. But while Theresa May was meeting kings and ministers in Jordan, yes, there are many challenges. a major diplomatic row was brewing elsewhere. President Trump had been personally rebuked by Downing Street for sharing far-right videos online. His response to Theresa May, on Twitter of course, don't focus on me, focus on the destructive radical Islamic terrorism that's taking place in the UK. Madam Prime Minister. Her tour of the Middle East suddenly required diplomacy of a different kind. The fact that we work together does not mean that we're afraid to say when we think the United States have got it wrong and to be very clear with them. And I'm very clear that retweeting from Britain first was the wrong thing to do. He tweeted effectively telling you to stay out of his business. Is that acceptable behaviour from a supposed ally? It's an enduring relationship that is there because it is in both our national interests. So what of the much-anticipated state visit to the UK by President Trump? An invitation for a state visit has been extended and has been accepted. We have yet to set a date. Thank you. In her speech here, Theresa May had little choice but to respond to this tweet. It was aimed directly at her. This, another test of her leadership, how to maintain authority, yet de-escalate a potential row with a friend. The US president, forging friendships of his own, you have been a great friend and we appreciate it very much. And has so far shown little regret. You've taken over, not for long. He shared videos posted by this woman, Jada Franson, the deputy leader of the anti-Muslim group Britain First. Today at the White House, Donald Trump's spokeswoman was asked if he'd known who she was at the time. Uh, no, I don't believe so, but I, again, I think he knew what the issues are, and that is that we have a real uh, threat of extreme violence and terrorism, not just in this country, but across the globe, uh, particularly in Europe, and that was the point he was making. But in Westminster, plenty disagree with President Trump and question Theresa May's approach. She never invited him within a few weeks of him being elected. Every other American president has had to wait for years. They have to settle down and we have to be sure about who it is that we're inviting. It's very difficult to see how you can continue to rely on the, the goodwill of somebody who is fundamentally evil, racist, completely uh, contrary to our own set of values. So while the Prime Minister practiced diplomacy in the Middle East, relations elsewhere were tested. Theresa May once again under scrutiny, not just at home, but around the globe. Alex Forsyth, BBC News, Jordan. Well, our North America correspondent Nick Bryant is in Washington. Nick, talking of diplomacy, this is not the kind of diplomacy we normally see. It's very rare for a British Prime Minister to rebuke a US president. How damaging is this to the so-called special relationship? Fiona, the only time that most Americans have seen a British Prime Minister publicly rebuke an American president like this is in the movies, that famous episode from Love Actually with Hugh Grant. This doesn't happen in real life. Disagreements in the special relationship, and there have been many since Winston Churchill coined that phrase over 70 years ago, are ordinarily sorted out behind closed doors through normal diplomatic channels. But this is anything but normal. The president retweeting those far-right anti-Muslim videos and then launching a highly personalized attack on Theresa May. Now, all that would suggest that Donald Trump doesn't really regard the special relationship as that special, certainly not the way that his predecessors did. And it also suggests that he knows that the special relationship is an asymmetrical relationship. It always has been. America's always had the upper hand, but particularly so now in this Brexit climate, where Britain is so desperate to get a post-Brexit trade deal uh, with America. But arguably, this shows weakness and vulnerability on both sides of the Atlantic. This tweeting from the president is not boosting America's standing in the world. America first increasingly looks like America alone. 
And for Downing Street, the problem is this shows that Britain as well is increasingly isolated in a very difficult spot with Europe and in a problematic relationship with its closest ally, America. Nick Bryant in Washington, thank you.